familiar with this area, so this is a first for me. I'm more familiar with around Disney property and Universal property, but what's really cool about this place is they have tons of Universal and Disney like memorabilia and merch and props, actual props from the parks and stuff. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna show you around. Again, this is just gonna be a little bit of a different video, but a fun video. We're excited, we can't wait to go in there and take a look because this is our first time here. So we are inviting you to tag along. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so we are here. They are gonna be closed Easter Sunday, which is the 31st. So the hours right here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and then this is so neat if you look right here and then here it's like, like a Walt Disney World cast member costume. This is photo pass. That's really cool. Very, very cool. So let's head inside. This is really neat. I just want to show this to you guys. So we just came in the door and right here by the door. Look at this. This is an actual prop from the, I don't know if this was Disneyland. I believe this is Disneyland. But how neat is that? And then if you come over here, here is, this is a costume from Tokyo Disney. It is $895. And then they've also got one back here, right here as well. This is from one of their parades. It was called the uh, Hippity Hoppity Springtime Parade. And then this is so neat. This is actually a turnstile from Magic Kingdom opening 1971 and this is an actual space mountain ride vehicle right here but yeah there's the would normally be the turnstile would be up and you'd walk through but oh my god that is like the coolest thing ever yep and then here's some more costume props right here and this one is looks like 895 but how neat is that and then we got some of the dwarfs right here. All right, and then behind me, here's a counter with some pins in it. They have all kinds of pins, so these are like 10 and up. And then these are anywhere from five to six and up. Um, we actually just found a pin, and it was uh, Space Mountain, or no, Splash Mountain, I'm sorry. We actually just found one. So yeah, you wanna show them? So I think we're gonna get that one and bring it home. This looks really cool. But yeah, they have so many. It is amazing. These are pins. And then down here in the case, they have actual stuff. And then these are actually right here. This is actually, when you hit your 15 with Disney, you get Cinderella Castle. Um, that was actually somebody's 15 year. That kind of makes me sad to be honest with you. But man, they have got so much stuff in here. Look at this one right here for 38, the Christmas one. Oh man. Holy cow. All right, and then just so you know, guys, there's like different sections in here that are set up, like booths almost, um, with all kinds of different things. So it's not just Disney, it's other stuff too. So like if you look right here in this one, they have some many different things in here. So like here's a Disney cookie jar and that one's 35. Looks like old comics. You got some cups and stuff right here. And then, oh, this is neat. neat. Down here you got like vintage Mickey Mouse dolls on the bottom. Oh, that's neat. There's like a Superman, I don't know if that's a belt buckle. I don't know what that is, but they've just got, oh, and there's some books right here some old books and then up at the top you know then you got like little buddha statues and all kinds of different things oh man wow oh and this is cool so here's like a mickey mouse glass i think this was from when was this from let's see this was Oh, 2000, Walt Disney World. Oh my goodness, look at that. $5, not bad at all. Some really cool stuff. This little area right here is really neat. So this is like literally any, like all vintage Coca-Cola style type merch right here. Holy moly. Oh 
Oh, this is so cute. I have a Coca-Cola Mickey Mouse lamp, and this is $100. Oh, and then look at these. They're classic Coke bottles with Mickey. That is adorable. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. There's a Disneyland 60 Coke bottle and a 15 Tokyo Disney Sea Coke bottle. <sighs> Shut the front door, look at this, guys. 15th anniversary Disney Cruise Line, inaugural sailing of the Fantasy. These are Coke bottles. Oh my goodness, and then, well, I don't think there's any Coke bottles in here, to be honest with you. These are just the, like the, the canisters that they came in. But here's the one that was for Animal Kingdom. Opening day, April 22nd, 1998. That is amazing. This is me. They have a Mickey Pez dispenser. This thing is massive. Oh, wow. And then over here, look at, we've got a, a Jack and Sally. Oh, and this is a neat one. Oh, I love this cup, you guys. This is amazing. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like it's in really good condition too. It's a big mug. It's on $16.90. Well, that's roughly around what it costs for mugs in the park, roughly. This doesn't even look like it was ever used. Oh man, look, there's Figaro. And this is cute too, guys. Look back here. We've got Chewy and Yoda. And if I move these guys out of the way, look at what's hiding back here. Got a Winnie the Pooh frame. Oh my heavens. And this looks like a little sudsy soap set from back in the day. It's Winnie the Pooh, so it looks like there's Tigger, Pooh Bear, Piglet, and Eeyore. So you got all four. Cute little pair of ears back here. Down here, somebody's got, there's like a Deadpool hat. Oh, this is neat, look at this hat. It says, vintage action figures, collect them all, Star Wars. That is really cool. Let's see how much this one is. This one's 20. And then here is, oh, this is like a metal piece on the front too, guys. Wow, you're into Deadpool. And let's see, this one is 20 as well. So that's pretty darn nifty. So something else that's really neat about the antique mall guys is you're even gonna find recent, recent stuff. Like this is from Festival of the Arts this year. This is the Figment popcorn bucket, which is double the price that they were selling it for in the park. So things like this, this is going for $68.99 and it still has the popcorn in it. I wouldn't spend that, but that's just me. And then right here, it looks like we have a Tron um, little crossbody bag that I'm pretty sure you can get in the park at the Tron store. So little things like that, you know, you kind of got to be a little careful about. However, you know, then you could find amazing stuff like this. These are still sealed. No way, you guys. Look at this. $9.99. This is a treasure trove right here. Oh, yes, this is a treasure trove. This is amazing. Wow. That is just the cool, oh my gosh. You, look at this, guys. And this, there is a little bit of damage because obviously these were plastic. So this is only $4.99, but still, if you wanted to have this like vintage VHS, Oliver and Company, could make it happen. I mean, come on. Oh man, what else do we have here? We got some Winnie the Pooh. And then here we got Bambi. Oh, I still have some of my VHS, believe it or not. And I'm so excited I still have them and I kept them because holy cow, that's a find right there. So this one here for this booth this is really cool. So it looks like we have some flags up here for different things, you guys. And then down here, this is what caught my eye. So like, look at this. Oh my 
goodness, my son would love this. He loves NASCAR. So like here's like a po like a I don't want to say it's a poster, but like a maybe it was a promotional item. I don't know. But we kind of like a look at this. McDonald's. That is cool. Oh, this is neat. Hong Kong. Oh. oh my goodness. This is just neat stuff. Look at all this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this right here, you guys. This is what I mean. I mean, you could spend hours in here. No lie. Maxwell House. You could spend hours in here just looking at all that they have. Wow. And then if you come over here, look at this right here. 1950s. Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. This was a popcorn bag. It's $15. That is the neatest thing ever. If you love collecting vintage merch, this will be up your alley for sure. Oh, look at this right here. We got some old. Look at this. Old comics. Or funny papers, as my dad called it. This is 1979. Six bucks. Also in that same booth up here at the top, look at these vintage cups, and most of them are from like McDonald's. But I mean, do you guys remember when they used to do Monopoly? And you get the little thing. <sighs> oh, look up there. There's a the Johnny Rockets. Oh man. And I think that McDonald's glass right there, I had one of these. Or maybe we even had a couple of them growing up. I can't remember now, but they, it looks familiar, but that is just so neat. This is just like back in the day. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. They have all kinds of stuff down here as well. But, I mean, wow. Oh, and look at, these are brand new for this year, guys. Look what I just found. These are in the parks right now. These are the 2024 Starbucks. Pretty much mm, a little bit less because it looks like the price that Disney's asking for is $49.99, so it's only 10 bucks cheaper. I mean, if it's worth it to you and it means that much to you, they have four of them up here. And then, oh my goodness, no way. Oh my gosh, I wanted these ears at Christmas time and I missed out on them. Oh my goodness, how much are they? They were the lounge fly ones. Ah, 28. Darn. Still too much. But very cute. They do have a couple pairs up here. So there are those. And then down here, oh, this is so stinking cute. Look, we got the Chippendale salt and pepper shaker set it's 20 bucks oh my goodness if you guys are fans of winnie the pooh got you covered look at this dish set down here and these mugs holy moly that is amazing what we got a mickey and minnie salt and pepper shaker set up here this eeyore is adorable little beaver inside <laughs> Poor little Eeyore. Oh my goodness gracious. So let's see how much they want for him. $14.99. That's not bad. He's so cute. Got some Remy back here. Oh my goodness. And guys, these, again, these are brand new for this year too. So there's a couple of these. Again, 10 bucks cheaper. $39.99. Oh, and this is the new one. They're doing the Starbucks cups for the parks. So this one's for Hollywood Studios. Look at Slinky Dog on there. <laughs> Miss Piggy. And of course we got Chuby right here from Runaway Railway. So again, 10 bucks cheaper, but yeah. Oh my heavens, you guys, look up here. We got a Splash Mountain. This is from Disneyland. It's a poster. Oh my goodness gracious. And it's $34.99. I don't necessarily think that's a bad price. I actually think that's pretty good. So I really like that. That's nice. 
So in this booth that we just came across, guys, this is so exciting. So they have some piggy banks here, some like vintage older piggy banks, which is really neat. And then this is cute too. Look at Viewmaster. That is neat. Oh my God. You guys, I'm telling you, there is so much stuff here. It's, I, I can't even put into words. Look at this. Coronado Springs Resort, August 1st, 97, grand opening. And then I turn around and we've got vintage plates up here. Vintage plates, collector plates. I mean, come on. Got some cruise line stuff over here. We have the Disney Fantasy inaugural sailing. This is a um, photo frame. But then what I thought was cool is back here behind it, if we look, this is the Millennium 2001 photo album and memory box from Disney Cruise Line. It's $14, which is not bad at all. Um, it does have a little bit of wear and tear in the corners, but it's not bad. And this is really cool right here. This is like from Disney Destinations. It's just like a, a box. It's two bucks, but I mean, that's really neat. And look at this. Jungle Book. Storybook ornament set. Oh my heavens. Let's see here. this. Here's Raja. Oh, Mowgli in blue. And then let's see here. <clears throat> let's see if I can find the price. 48. Comes in this beautiful, it looks like a vintage book, but it's an ornament set. Oh, wow. And it looks like there's more actually so yeah look we got mickey and friends and there's two yeah two mickey and oh no this is the aristocats <gasps> shut the front door you guys <sighs> oh my heavens this is really neat we got some um, vintage popcorn buckets up here too this is a universal studios one i mean you guys five bucks Oh, this is when Blue Man Group was at Universal. That is cool. Wow. Yeah, those are some Disney ones up there. They also do have some books here. My son actually just found a NASCAR book that he's really excited for. It's in really good condition. It's only $3. So we're going to go ahead and get it. But yeah. And then over here we got some water globes. Which is really nice. Oh, this is beautiful this up here $138 for that and then they got a globe right here too and then there's like a Mickey he's 138 too Sorcerer's Apprentice 1940 this is just so cool all right guys we are now getting into the section I'm so excited for this this has universal stuff but there's also some disney stuff that are actual props from halloween horror nights i am so excited to show you this here we go okay here's a universal studio sign right here and then if you look here we have a jurassic world fallen kingdom but if you look in here look at this look at this halloween horror nights 2019 oh my goodness that's when they did, I think it was Vamp 89. But yeah, this is from the Tribute Store, you guys. The Tribute Store, this past Tribute Store. I mean, come on. What does that say? $249? You could totally own that if you want to pay that. And then look at, yep. Got Hatbox Ghost right here. And all the different little booze through the years. Totally steampunk right here. I love that. Oh, and then look up top here, guys. Got the Demogorgon, Storyteller. And then, of course, this is from Stranger Things. I think this was the first year. I would love that. That would be amazing. But yeah, this is just, I'm just saying. Oh, and then down here, this is pretty neat. 
So I don't know. I'm thinking this is Disney related right here, but I could be all wrong. No, I don't think so. Maybe that's a Halloween Horror Nights prop. But then in here, look at this. Secret Life of Pets. I think this is from when they had the store set up inside Universal Studios. I think that's what that's from. It's $49.99. That is amazing. I mean, come on. Oh my goodness, you guys. This... Was this from the Vamp 60 or Vamp, Vamp 89? <sighs> you guys, I'm not sure. Oh, look at, yeah, Williams of Hollywood used to be in Universal Studios. It's not there anymore. It was the prop shop. Yes, this is the HHN video game display as seen in the studio store. This is from, it's got to be from uh, Vamp 89. I mean, I'm just saying, $9.50, but if you want it, it's here. Continuing on with the awesomeness, you guys. Look what I just found. Oh, this is just... I'm going to move these out a little bit so you guys can see. It's empty at the bottom, but... The, oh, man. This is just too cool right now. Look at this up here. Halloween Horror Nights. They have a Miss Pac-Man right here, I believe. Or... Oh no, I'm sorry, Miss Dumpty. I'm a, I apologize. But coming over here, this guy I think was out of the tribute store from last year's HHN, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my heavens. It's coming in here. Skeleton up here. We got this guy down here. Oh, look back here, you guys. The director. If you guys know HHN, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and then here, let's take a some Shrek 3D glasses when Shrek was in there. They're five bucks. Of course, Shrek is now turned into the new Villain Con ride. But just to give you an idea, though, guys. Oh, no, he's the Scooby Doo monster. Okay, but he's $9.50. And then we got this one right here, $7.50. We have Dracula. Here, look at him. Ooh, buddy, he's 2,000. Look at this. Shoes and all, man. Holy moly. You guys want an express pass lane in your house? You could have it for 225. <laughs> that would be amazing. And then part of what's in here, guys, too, which is um, just, again, so cool. This is actual Disney furniture. From Disney resorts when they do renovations and stuff like that. This is the actual nightstand that was from Caribbean Beach, the Pirates Room, which are no more to my understanding, but they're a little distressed, but that just adds to it. And of course, back here you've got what every Disney resort has, your plug, your USB, and it is actually a drawer. It does open up, which is amazing. There is two of them right here. And then coming around this way, We've got Yacht and Beach Club, like, plates. We even got the Grand Floridian plates. Okay, I would love to have this. So here is a Mickey lamp, you guys. And this is from, um, this is the original prop from Yacht Club. This is a resort room lamp. And then over here, look at how amazing this is. This is the original prop lamp from Boardwalk. A mini right here. All right, guys, look at this. I just found this. I don't think this is for sale. I think this is just a prop right here that the Haunted Mansion stuff is on. Um, but this, look at this piano. What makes it so cool? Look at the hands at the end. It's at both sides, too. I mean, look at the detail. We got a candle up here. I don't see one on this side. Let me move him. Yeah, I don't, there's not one on that side, but it is over here. But I'm going to tell you right now, if I did have the money and this was for sale, I would totally get this. But this is so neat. So this is like a Haunted Mansion replica of, I think, like a yard prop right here. Let's see what it says. Let's read the tag. Yep, Gracie Tombstone. It's 27. I don't, I, it says Disney Parks. I missed this one. So that's pretty neat. I think it's foam, to be truthfully honest with you. Yeah, it's like a it's like a foam, so that wouldn't last very long in the yard, but wow. Oh man, and then over here they got this stuff right here. So there's a Haunted Mansion figure right here. This is 
We have two of them. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this coffee cup. That is really cool. It is $16.99. It's actually lightweight, surprisingly. But, holy moly. This is a hanging bat decor haunted mansion. This was actually, I think, from Spirit Halloween. Yep. And this is $59.99. Oh my goodness, look at this up here, you guys. I love this stuff. Haunted Mansion is one of my absolute favorites. So yeah, we got Haunted Mansion. These are $12.99. If we flip them all over, look at this. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh, we got like an acrylic cup right here with some iridescent shimmer in the center. Madame Leota. She's $12.99. Oh, this is funny. The magnet says look alive. This is also a Spirit Halloween magnet right here. If we turn it around, it is $9.99. And I love this, you guys. This is amazing. This is so cool. That's like a stand. I think this is Disney Parks. It's got to be. Let me see. Yeah, it was Disney Parks. And it was originally forty-four ninety. Why is it more here? Okay, so that's not really saving anything, but if you like it, I mean, go for it. And I love this back here. This is like an ornament set right here, it says. So that is really cool, too. Oh, and it says right here, look guys, vault collectibles. So I'm guessing it looks like, oh wow, so I'm one of those people. And then this is Haunted Mansion cabinet from, oh, this is actually from the store. It's not for sale, but this is from the store. This is an actual cabinet from Memento Mori inside Magic Kingdom. We also have some resort phones here, guys. Look at this is from Caribbean Beach from room 3538. It's $24.99. And there's one over here from the Beach Club. And this here, this is the Caribbean Beach prop trunk. This is also used in the pirate rooms. Um, this handle right here is broken on this one. But these are $125. And there are two of these here. So if I had the space and the money, I would totally do this because I love pirates. Alrighty guys, so as if the Halloween Horror Nights props couldn't get any better or whatever you wanna say. We got some more right here. This is from 2022. Of course we have little Boo right here. We've got Earl the Squirrel and this is really neat too. So these are all from years past. If you look, this was actually from last year, The Last of Us. Um, they are expensive though. They don't, it doesn't look like they're reduced but they do have some of the decal sheets and then at the bottom here, I'm gonna move some of these, but at the bottom, if you look, this is from 2021. It's like a poster that they had. But yeah, look at this. And then the thing is, like this one's $29.99. Um, this is from 2021, right here, 30 years, 30 fears. And this is $29.99. This one was from last year. Not my favorite, not my thing, but if it's yours. Um, and this is really neat because this was from a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Party Like a Pirate, I remember this one because I have a shirt. Um, and this one is actually a little bit cheaper. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the year on it, but I want to say this was 2020. But I could be wrong. I want to say it was 2020, though. I swear it was. <laughs> but coming over here, this is what's really cool. So... I did get this photo frame last year from when they started reducing everything, um, but we have some mugs right here, and then we have Universal Studios Halloween, or Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, and oh, here it is right here, you guys. No way. This is from 2018. Oh, this is amazing. I want this. All right, moment of truth, you guys. It is $69.99, OMG. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. 
oh my goodness, and then look, when they do the, the glasses and stuff, look what they have. <gasps> no way, they have the Eddie guitar zipper that I wanted. This is amazing, this is amazing. Look how much is he? Oh man, he's 37. Oh, that's crazy. That's a lot of money. Oh, cheese and rice. Wow. This is up here, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This was the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, this is a cool one, you guys. Look at the Universal Monsters one. Oh, I love these. This is from 2019. Oh, yes, it's $24.99. Oh, yeah. I love that. And then I did get this one. This was from 2022. I do have this one. Um, yeah. This is amazing. Oh, look at this one back here, you guys. This is from 30 Years, 30 Fears. Wow. I'm telling you, if you guys are into it and you love this kind of stuff, you're going to find so much stuff here. Y'all, do you see what's behind me? I think I found the creme de la creme of Halloween Horror Nights props. Let's check it out. Well, well, well. Holy cow. Here it is. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 29. Rob Zombie. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Wow. That is wild. Look at that. Oh man. Backing up over here. Oh, here it is right here, you guys. Look at how much it is. <laughs> oh, back here, it looks like we have a mummy prop. That's pretty cool. I cannot read what the tag says. However, actually it looks like it says it's sold. Somebody bought it. Wow. Yes, indeed. This is, this is something. Holy moly. I know, I was not here for this HHN. Um, like I said, there was a really big gap between when I started going back again versus when I went the first time years and years ago. But they got this back here on the back of it. That is a pretty cool prop. And again, if you got the money, you got the space and the time, can you imagine having something like this to show all your friends? Like look at this cool prop I have from HHN, Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, come on guys. <laughs> it's amazing. I was just saying. So we just got out of the Lakeland Antique Mall, you guys, and I have to tell you something. Uh, okay, first of all, they had to do an announcement they were closing in 30 minutes. That's how long we've been in there. I did not realize it. I completely lost track of time. We were in there for like three hours, bud. Yes. Obviously, this won't About be three. three. Yeah, this won't be three hours of footage. No. <laughs> and I, again, was not able to show you everything that we wanted to show you because, oh my gosh, you guys, they get stuff, I believe, pretty, pretty frequently. And everybody in there was so sweet. The gentleman that checked us out and the lady that um, helped, you know, get the stuff bagged up, she was um, mentioning to go ahead and, and link them uh, for the video once we get it published. Um, and I, absolutely, 100%, they were just amazing in there. They were so sweet. Um, we had an amazing time looking around. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything again. If you are visiting Florida and you're gonna be here for a little bit, definitely check out this area. I will go ahead and put the um, address for the place of business for you in the description below. That way you guys have an idea of where it's at. So again, if you're coming down here, you're visiting all that good stuff. Um, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we are going to, we may go to Target because I think there's a Target up the street here. I don't know, never been to this Target because again, I've never been in this area before. This is a first for, for the both of us. Yes. Um, but we are really hungry. <laughs> so I think we're gonna get a little something to eat and then probably decide from there where we go. But we had an amazing time in there. It was so amazing just seeing all the props in there, all the stuff. 
and all the universal stuff, oh my gosh. Not to mention my son was, we were both kind of, as we like to say, geeking out <laughs> because we were finding so many cool things in there we love. Yeah, he found a really cool NASCAR book. So yeah, great, wonderful time in the Antique Mall. Thank, thank you guys so much. We had an amazing time there. All right, guys, we are gonna run into Target while we're here. Um, we're actually still here in Lakeland. Um, we just went to the Taco Bell across the street. Haven't had Taco Bell in a long time, so that was a bit weird. Um, but yeah, they got all kinds of restaurants and stuff here, but we're gonna go check out this Target. Never been in this Target. Looks amazing. I think it's a Super Target, but then again, I'm doubting that because it doesn't say Super Target. So let's go in and check it out. So here it is, the Target in Lakeland, Florida. Looks pretty good. All it says is CVS Pharmacy. Doesn't say anything else, so that leads me to believe it is not a Super Target. All right, guys, already coming into this Target, and what the heck, they have the Target dog on the Target cart. I don't even have this in my area. That ain't, that's not fair. So I don't normally go in the clothing section, guys, because I don't particularly care for clothes shopping, but this caught my eye, this is so cute. I don't obviously have Littles anymore, but for those of you that do, I know that Bluey is a big deal, and they have this Bluey adult sweatshirt in the women's section. I don't know what this is or if it's just something in general, the dragon shirt, but they've got a bunch of these type shirts here and like this trouser type set right here in different colors, which is that really nice, like soft kind of flowy material. And actually $38, not too terrible, I don't think. And then they have this one right here, which is like a full, these are like nice vacation cruising type outfits in my opinion and they do have it in tan and in black wow oh my gosh you guys look what i just found super fancy <laughs> these are so cute the heel is a nice wide heel too so it's not that bad now moment of truth is what is the what's the damage price wise 50 bucks that's not actually that bad i thought they'd be more than that what I don't think I see the box. This is just display. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This is like super stinking cute. I mean, in all reality, I guess you could just buy a pair and just bedazzle them yourself, but that would take a lot of time. So for 50 bucks, I don't think that's too bad. So if you're here at Target, you can get super fancy boot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not seeing, I don't know if you see it, but I'm not seeing, yeah, I don't see anything. I just see regular. Yeah, I like them. Okay guys, really quick, because there's obviously copyright music, but we're in Target, I told you that, and my son is getting some shirts and I just came across this gem. Very cool. I have questions. Uh, we don't have this at my Target? They can sit with Spot, the Target dog and watch TV. Also, Spinning Mickey, we don't have that either. Well, hello everyone. Um, I apologize for the abrupt end to our video. Um, we showed you a little bit when we were in Target. Um, it is the next day and uh, we did get home super duper late. And when I mean super late, I am not kidding you. It was already early this morning by the time we got home. The reason for that is because um, as I had stated in the video, um, we went to Lakeland, the Lakeland Antique Mall yesterday, and I am not familiar with the Lakeland area at all. And um, even with my Google Maps, I don't know what happened. <laughs> we had the address plugged in. We had the right, the right address plugged in. And unfortunately, um, it, it totally took us down a route that we basically were kind of I, w I guess kind of right around the corner from the antique mall. However, where it said our destination was when we put it in the GPS as we were traveling down this road that I had never been on before, they were like, oh, you've arrived at your destination. And I said to my son, I'm like, there's no way we're not here. We were kind of like in the middle of nowhere. There were houses and stuff around us, but this was basically like an area in Orlando where it's, it's Polk City. So it's, kind of farm country I mean just just massive amounts of land very beautiful it was beautiful it was beautiful scenery 
But um, so that was our first challenge getting to the Lakeland Mall. And then the second challenge was um, as we were coming back home from the Lakeland Antique Mall and, and you know, we had stopped and gotten a little bit of um, a, like a late dinner after that. And then um, we showed you we were in Target. We were coming home and I just so happened to be coming up on the exit where my, one of my good friends lives and we dog sit for her. We dog sit her dog. She's getting ready to go on vacation and I was supposed to pick her up today, but I called her because it was a little after nine o'clock and I was like, hey, would you be cool if we swing by, we're in the neighborhood and go ahead and just pick Peach up now, you know, and save a trip. And she was like, yeah, 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 sure, that'd be fine. So we're traveling down the um, US 27 and I'm familiar with 27 to a degree, not as a whole, but to a degree, at least in her neck of the woods. And I don't know what happened, guys. All I can tell you is, Oh my gosh. We wound up having to reroute ourselves. The other thing that was a challenge for me, because please tell me I'm not the only one that has done this. I left the house without my glass case that had my regular glasses in them. My, my like, not my sunglasses. All I had was my sunglasses. And the only way for me to drive us home last night was with my sunglasses on. So on top of it being dark, it was darker because of my sunglasses. I honestly, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Anything's possible at this point because I always manage to do something silly like that. So anyway, by the time we got home, it was super duper late. I did want to, however, show you guys um, what we did pick up. And you may have seen um, one of the things that I had in my hand in a couple clips in the video, um, you know, throughout showing you the antique mall. Um, I had shown you the Stranger Things like poster from 2018, from the first year they had come to um, Halloween Horror Nights and, and was a part of that whole event. And I did go ahead and splurge and I did buy it because it was the only one there and I really, really, really wanted it because, you know, if you go online and you look, I may have been able to find it cheaper elsewhere, but I'm going to be honest with you, anytime I try to, you know, search online for these things, most resellers obviously want to sell them for hundreds, if not you know, try to get thousands of dollars out of people. So um, I did pay a little bit. I paid like $70 for it. I know. But it was one of those things I was there and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I would love, love, love to add this to my collection. So I did go ahead and pick up that poster. They also had a shirt um, when the weekend came to Halloween Horror Nights last year, he had a house and it was such a good house. I love that house. It was amazing. And I meant to get the shirt and it was like gone. It, it like it, I, I completely missed it. And they actually happen to have one shirt there, brand new, not worn in my size. And I was like a kid in a candy store. So I did go ahead and pick the weekend shirt up from Halloween Horror Nights uh, last year from 2022. Um, actually, no, I'm not sorry. La I'm not last year. I'm so sorry. It was 2022. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. The days just go together. Anyway, so I picked that up and I also picked up the Halloween Horror Nights 2019 Monsters, Universal Monsters glass, um, which also happened to be in 2019. That was the year they did Vamp 89. One of the scare zones was Vamp 89. So it was very retro, obviously 80s arcade game kind of feel. And I wish I had been able to experience that that particular year. And unfortunately, I, 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 I didn't. I couldn't. So anyway. And then my son found a NASCAR book, which I believe we showed you. It was like two or three dollars. Um, he was super excited about that. And I did also find um, actually the Pinocchio cup I showed you guys. I picked that up too. And then we had shown you the Splash Mountain pin. We also did go ahead and get that. And um, so yeah, we did pick up a couple really awesome things. We cannot wait to go back. It was such a beautiful store. The people in there were so sweet and so kind. And um, I'm going to link all that information in the description below so you guys can go check out their website. I'm going to put the address in there. And please, if you guys are here visiting and you have time, make the time to go over to this antique mall because it is phenomenal. And they are the sweetest people. They have so much stuff in there. If not for anything else, just even just to go in there and check it out and take a look. Amazing. And um, then uh, the next thing was um, we didn't get a whole lot at Target. I can kind of show it to you. It's nothing, you know, nothing fascinating per se but my son did need some new shirts so he picked out some shirts they were all on sale which is awesome and then I went ahead and picked up a few Olipop if you guys aren't familiar with that it's like a, a soda alternative 
and uh, it's not sponsored or anything. I just enjoy Olipop because I don't drink soda anymore. So anyhow, um, I'll go ahead and show that to you now. All right, guys. So again, here's that weekend shirt and he is on the front of the shirt. Um, and it's really neat because you can see it's you know, God, he's wearing the glasses. You can see the reflection there. And then on the back, it says After Hours Nightmare. And it says, of course, Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Because like I said, I just made a mistake. I accidentally said last year. It wasn't last year. It was 2022. So there was that shirt that we got. And then, of course, just to show you this, guys, again, this is what I was just telling you about. I did go ahead and pick up the Stranger Things. It's like in a really thick, thick type of a... Uh, holder like a plastic holder but it's it's really really nice so I this was my big splurge along with my shirt pretty much was my those were my two huge things that I did go ahead and splurge on but I'm happy with them I'm excited so the only one now I have to hopefully get my hands on at some point is the 2019 one because um, Stranger Things did HHN two years in a row so that's the next one I'm hoping to get my hands on. That one, the next one, is going to have the Mind Flayer, I believe. That was 2019. So, yeah. So, we did that. And then, to show you guys here, I was just telling you about the Monsters, Universal Monsters, because they always have a Universal Monsters house during HHN pretty much every year. Um, and, again, this one was from 2019. And I did show this to you in the store. It looks like it was Werewolf, Werewolf versus Frankenstein that year which is really cool. So I did pick that up and that one was $24.99. And then I did also show you this in the video, but I did go ahead and pick up the Pinocchio mug because I love all the classic Disney movies. And you can probably hear my cat in the background. He's fine. <laughs> he wants to get in one of the rooms he's not supposed to be in. So he's kind of having a little bit of a fit for himself. So anyways, but yeah, we did go ahead and we did pick this up. It is so beautiful. Um, and again, this one was $16.90 for that mug. So got a couple of those gems right there. This was the book that my son saw that he actually had been wanting for quite some time. And um, so we went ahead and picked it up and it was only $3. So very excited for that. It's in really, really good condition. And um, he's excited to, you know, go through it and, and take a look at everything and so yeah, that's going to be really, really cool for that. And then, so these are some of the shirts that my son did pick out. We just actually realized, I didn't think he got the Mario Kart shirt, and he did. But unfortunately, he accidentally grabbed the wrong size. So we're going to have to take that one back and hopefully get either another one or exchange it for a different shirt. Anyway, this is one of the ones we saw that I thought was so cool. So on the front, it's the Super Mario, but on the back of it, I love it. It is adorable. Preview of next shirt coming up. <laughs> so yeah, this is the back of that shirt. It's got Mario and it's got Yoshi and I love it's got Mr. Toad because I don't ever see anything with, with Mr. Toad. And of course, Luigi is there. So he's super excited about that shirt. And then the next one, as you guys can see here, um, he picked up this classic Ford Bronco shirt, 1966. So that was really, really neat. So he got that one. And then just a classic Dr. Pepper shirt because he does find those things very, very fascinating. So did that. And then, of course, we had to get some Bob Ross, you guys. I love it. No mistakes. Just happy accidents. So he picked that one up. And then this one I was really excited for, too. So we got some classic Donkey Kong going on here. So, yeah, he picked that up. Nice, bright yellow. So, yeah, that was everything. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for the day. I don't think I would call this home vlog however I do realize that you know the fact that we're finishing out the vlog at home I guess it could kind of be um, a little bit of a I don't know finish it out at home with us kind of a thing and then I did forget to show you guys again here was that splash mountain pin that I was telling you about so yeah but anyhow again I hope uh, that you guys enjoyed we had a lot of fun being able to take you along with us and share and uh, show you you know some of the stuff that we did go ahead and get so as always guys please don't forget to spread love and kindness also please don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe um, I definitely would love to hear your thoughts in in the comment section below um, let me know if there's anything in particular that you would love to see moving forward and I will of, of course do my very best to cover that for you so we thank you guys again so much much love to all of you and uh you know again take care of yourselves and we will see you real soon bye